So why are you here? I don't know. I've not been very lucky. I don't know whether it's a combo between maybe how I am in relationships, but equally the men I pick. You know, recently I met someone on a dating app. We were together just under you don't want to, You don't want to do that. No. And then he was still on the dating apps. He really was Prince Charming. Gorgeous, very successful in his job, hilarious. My mum adored him. I, don't, I think I just really don't pick the right guys. I don't know why. I just kind of forgave him, got over that. You know, love makes you do really stupid things sometimes. He convinced me that nothing had happened with anyone and he was just having a commitment moment. Um, and then it happened again. Like, I do think it's really difficult to find a gentleman these days. I'm hoping it'll pick up soon. <laughs> right. I want to find someone who I can start building a life with. You know, having a home and having children and... I would love to find that person now. Well, OK, describe your man. Describe my perfect man? Yeah. I danced with Prince William once, so... I think... Um, I got a match up to that? Got, yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Basically. All right. It's not too hard, is it? I got more hair. You do have more oh, hair. Nice. Yeah. Now I've just got to wait and see if your dance moves match up. So what's it called when you <laughs> twizzle? <laughs> so, like, the spin and they look at a point and they come back and they're like, there, I'm back again. We in Saturday yeah. Night Fever. Yeah. <laughs> so, I notice you have a tattoo. I don't like tattoos. How many have you got? Oh. <laughs> it was going, going so well. Do you really not like tattoos? Not a huge fan, no. Cool. Are you covered? All right, see you later. Are you covered? Oh, it was nice to meet you. Is it like, have you got sleep? No. OK. Uh, I've got that. Yeah. This is like Roman numerals. Over that's here. a numeral brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. I got an underground there. What's, what does it say? PV. I've got a daughter. Oh, daughter. lovely. How old? Yeah, she's five. Oh, cute. She's just the best. Just the best thing ever. She does my hair. And she did my hair one time and put it all in pigtails. Loads of pigtails everywhere. Oh. She's like, let's go to the, uh, let's go shopping. I mean, let's go shopping. I was like, yeah, go on. She's like, you're not going to go with your hair like that, are you? <laughs> so we, I did her hair. And you she went out mine. with your hair like that? So I went out with my hair like that. And went to Sainsbury's and met her parent <laughs> from my school. That's my hair. <laughs> I want to pass on to my daughter that it's important to like enjoy yourself and, and maybe not be so worried about what people think of you. But like the joy on her face, just because it's like, Aww. oh, let's have a laugh. Like, who, like, who cares what they think? She they knew don't... what she was doing. She was, she like, was like, I bet I could get, get dad, dad out, out like this. <laughs> As Gemma and Paul enjoy dessert on the terrace, it's time to decide if they want to continue their rendezvous. Are you glad you have had this experience? Yes. You know you hear like these horror stories, getting matched with, I don't know, someone with loads of tattoos or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll drop that. I'm honestly just joking. Well, you can either drop Prince William <laughs> or tattoos. Which what, one would which you one? rather? You can choose. <laughs> you wait till you see it. You wait till you see. See what? Your dance The pal. Oh. <laughs> she seemed quite impressed with me. I don't know if I'm Prince material, but... Have you turned that in there? really quickly. <laughs> How are we going to do it? Are we doing one hand? Yeah. Are we doing that? Yeah. So are we just going to, like... 